what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you very much for stopping in nice day here in Greenville South Carolina I thought I would make a video as I cruise around in the car and kind of mess around with uh, coilover adjustments and whatnot I'm contemplating about uh, contemplating what's next for the channel and thinking about what I want to do and the direction I want to go and I know I've kind of thrown some ideas out there in terms of what I'm looking at um, for another channel car and I've gotten some feedback from you all but I've never really thrown out kind of some of the cars that I've narrowed in on so uh, that's what I wanted to go over today three or four of the cars that I'm really looking closely at really really considering uh, bringing on to the channel and I thought I'd throw it out there to get some of uh, your guys' feedback to see what you might like uh, to see what you might like to see for the channel we're uh, right around sunset too, right here, uh, Sunday evening. So hoping to find some spots for a couple of good pictures too. But anyway, I, I, like I said, I want to give you guys kind of a, a, an idea of where my head is at in terms of what I want to do with the channel. And as you know, you know, bringing a new car onto the channel is almost like starting over. Those videos don't tend to get a lot of views and don't generate a lot of interest particularly because a lot of you guys are here because of the q50 stuff uh, so if i were to bring on like a bmw for example like i had before viewership kind of was down quite a bit and i, I it need to it needs to make sense obviously i want to enjoy the vehicle but it also has to make sense like business wise you know for the channel anyway let's just get right into this and you guys tell me what you think all your feedback is appreciated so i'm going to go with let's say four there there's four real cars that i'm really uh, considering for the channel and i think i think number three or four i'm not sure what the order is going to go and we'll see how this goes but i i think at least one of them is going to surprise you but anyway let's go number one the first car uh, that i am co considering for the channel is a g35 that might surprise you uh, but I don't think it's going to surprise you as much as the other ones. Uh, but I am considering a, a, a G35. First of all, very inexpensive. I'm really looking for a car that I can kind of make a track car or another kind of dual purpose, maybe something I can race around and something maybe I can, you know, work on. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to get into drifting so much. That seems to be a big thing these days. Uh, but I think uh, something that I can, you know, weld the diff on and do do a bunch of burnouts and beat the crap out of it not really worry so much about it i think that's really appealing and i think that makes for some good content and i think you guys would enjoy that as well so the g35 is one that i'm uh, considering heavily for a number of reasons the ability just to to beat on it and uh the amount of content that i can create with it and also the price point that we can find one at uh, it's really really appealing for a number of reasons yeah while we're out here though let's just take a look at this car for a minute golly she looks good these wheels really look better than I could have anticipated. Obviously blue calipers I'm a big fan of. If I haven't said it enough, Motorsports Los Angeles, Motorsports LA, um, that's Motorsports underscore LA on Instagram. Any of your guys' wheel needs, go check them out. God, this car looks sick. If you haven't been uh, following along or you're not up to date on videos, uh, check out these you know, front driving lights here uh, where your signals normally are. These are sequential front signals from JR Lights on Instagram, JR underscore lights. Again, um, sequential turn signals in the front, but also driving lights and the color changing LED front emblem from Jalisco's Carbon Fiber. Yeah. I guess one of the reasons, just for a little insight for you, that I actually don't really want a G35 is because there's already quite a bit of G35 content on YouTube, and I guess the reason for that is obvious. G35 has been around a long, long time, and because of the price point, there's a bunch of them out there. And, you know, aftermarket's pretty friendly as well, so it just makes sense that a lot of people are already making G35 content, and there's a couple of good ones that I actually enjoy watching, so I don't know that I, again, just really wanna be white noise in that space, so. That's that. Uh, number two, the number two vehicle I'm considering, and this might not surprise you, a 350Z. Um, obviously not a whole lot different than a G35, but you know, a little different look, more of that kind of track inspired car. Um, uh, I used to hate them just because of how they look, but you can really make them look pretty dope. So I, I kind of, 
I gravitate toward the 350Z just this, for the same reasons that I gravitate to the G35. Um, but I also am hesitant to pick them up for the same exact reasons too, believe it or not. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about those first two. Number three. Number three probably won't surprise you because, well, I just recently made a video uh, actually stating the fact that I'm considering this vehicle. And that, jeez. That is the BMW 335i. Um, probably like a 2008, 2009 manual that's one thing that the this next channel car is going to have in common it's going to be a manual transmission um already have an automatic and i just want a i just want to bring a manual transmission car to the channel 335 uh, is no exception i think i prematurely i sold my first bmw uh prematurely one of the things that i just mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video was the fact that bringing a new car onto the channel that is sort of dedicated to a specific platform is almost like starting over, starting from scratch. Um, and that's what I was experiencing with the 335. In addition to the fact that there are, you wanna talk about content that has already been done. I mean, you know, like I said, uh, the G35 350Z content, there's tons of it out there. Uh, it pales in comparison to the amount of BMW, like N54, 335i, uh, material. I mean, it it, the, it is just saturated with BMW content. And originally, I was kind of struggling to figure out the niche that I would fill with that platform. And I felt like I was just kind of white noise out there. And um, now that I've sold the car and some of the videos that I made that weren't getting a lot of attention are starting to ramp up. I made a fuel injector failure a uh, video that only got a few hundred views right off the rip and now four or five six months into it it's got over eleven thousand views so and another one with six or seven thousand views and they're starting to ramp up now so it's almost like it took a little while to catch hold and i think if i would have held on to that car uh, we could have really reached a whole nother audience with this channel uh, so it's a little unfortunate but that is what has me uh, considering that car again uh, but in manual form this time around. enjoyed that a little bit I, I i just had to i mean i feel bad for marking up the parking lot to be quite honest but cold pavement cold tires i just had to whip it around a couple of times uh, anyway here we are number four the number four well stop the video right now let me know in the comment section what you think it is this might throw you for a loop here and i might get a little bit of flamage a little a little bit of harassment for this selection but i can't help it I can't help it. My number four, guys, is a Fox Body Mustang. I'm looking at late 80s. I'd even consider an 86, to be honest with you. Um, but late 80s, early 90s, obviously, Fox Body Mustang. Uh, you know, little 5.0, rear wheel drive, limited slip differential, five speed, not a lot of power. Uh, you know, rated at like 220, 225 from the factory. Um, but God, they sound good. And, you know, as a kid that grew up in the 90s, Fox Body Mustangs were where it's at. You know, you go to the drag strip, that's what guys were ripping. Super light, you know, for what they were. Torquey, not a ton of power, like I said, but man, you can whip those things around and have a ton of fun with them and they sound great. Um, and those old 5.0s, man, they're hard to beat. And that's a great sounding engine, like I said. So I'd really consider that. And I've had a bunch of Mustangs in the past. Uh, my brother actually had an 86 for a while, which was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I had the, the SN95 Mustangs. I had the, the New Edge Mustangs, the early 2000s. Um, but I had never had a Fox Body myself. 
and they've always just been really appealing. I just never found a deal, and I think this could potentially be a good opportunity. But let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you here for, you know, your JDM guys, or you like the, the Japanese cars, or some of the newer stuff. So uh, let me know your thoughts about the Mustang. Here we're getting into the dark, but it's perfect timing to end this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about my four uh, potential options. Um, uh, for the channel which ones you guys would be most interested in seeing um which ones you guys think are the most fitting for this channel and uh i can't promise you anything uh, in terms of the vehicle i select um but your input is going to be really valuable obviously you know going into it I try to light this place up a little bit going into it knowing kind of what you guys are interested in that's going to help make the decision so let me know in the comment section below what your feelings are it, it, towards uh the four vehicles that i've outlined here and we'll see what happens I, i'm i'm ready to go right now but um it's it's been tough finding uh what i wanted but now that things are starting to open up a little bit more and travel's a little uh more possible and uh, i i might actually even be willing to drive uh, to find the vehicle, the right vehicle. So it opens up my search area a little bit more and maybe we'll find something that fits all of the, uh, you know, checks all the boxes, I guess you'll say, or most of the boxes. So let me know again, down in the comment section and uh, I'm looking to buy something here in the spring, maybe, maybe late spring, we'll see. Looking forward to it, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna keep going with the Q50, more plans for the Q, so don't worry about that. I uh, appreciate you guys watching very much. I always appreciate your engagement and your input. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep ripping and rolling, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you in the next one.